So I have a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and a four-month-old. So I, um, yeah, I drag my body, my dead carcass, out of bed. <laughs> we are up super early here at the Bellevue Club. I am sitting on a panel of agents talking to the Young Professional Network about all things real estate, marketing, social media. So I need a cup of coffee before I get going, but it should be fine. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So we, my wife and I just have shirts, like with the logo. We're not, we're not gonna go like the whole spandex route. Shoshana, Brennan, and Catherine down there. This is our panel. I, so I have a monthly newsletter, and I think you have to be in your inbox on some level. Uh, I would urge you to have original content in there. I think all of our companies provide can newsletters you can email out, but the more customized and unique you can be with that email that you send, um, the better result you'll see. I'll go upstream a bit in engaging with your sphere via text. So I was my, I honed my, my skills with the Ninja selling system. So I don't know if you're familiar with that, but in, in short, it urges you to stay in contact with your sphere by talking to them about their life, right? Asking them how their job is, how are your kids, non-real estate things. It's not a norm for me to pick up the phone and talk to my buddies about anything, right? It's all via text or Twitter or social media. So what I try to do to be human, and I would like to think I do this um, regardless of what industry I'm in. So this is a tactic that I use that I'm sharing. Um, if I'm driving down the street and I have a, a, a memory by some association, right? A song comes on the radio, um, I'm at a restaurant that brings me back to some moment with a client or a friend. I try to immediately text him about it and say, hey, do you remember this? Check out, I'm here at the restaurant thinking of you. Those are the types of things that I feel like are on a human level connect me with what we would call our sphere. I guess you could say that's prospecting, but to me that's just like being a good human and when the time comes, I'm top of mind and I'm in relationship. It's about relationships with those people. Hey, dollars and growing. Hey, can you, hey, let's get a picture together real quick. For sit down, I want to talk with you and Dylan and learn a little bit and let him educate me on what I need to be doing and bring me up to speed so I can pull content together. Yeah, let's go grab coffee then. So panel's over, uh, try to be helpful with some of my answers that I gave, uh, be a little bit tactical, be a, bit, a little bit real. Um, I think sometimes on those panels, people, you can come, it's easy to come across as generic, maybe not yourself, so I just wanted to be myself and be who, uh, share kind of the silliness and the fact that I have no morning routine, I just let my kids own me every day. So from here, we're going to go grab a bite to eat with Gary Whitson, uh, one of my favorite lenders, and we're just going to talk social media strategies, uh, marketing, and how we can both support one another. Let's go. <laughs> Turn it around. Specialized off-road. Gary is specialized. Cool. So I really like what you've done on the professional level. And this is something that like we're gonna start going through because we sort of launched and tried a bunch of different types of messages. And I think one thing that I'm realizing is that um, probably too much, we're kind of too broad in, in what we're trying to communicate. Um, we're trying to communicate too many different things. So like, I want to get to a place where we're 2019, when someone sees a video coming through their feed, they know it's about one of these like three to four verticals that Phil is a killer expert on, and not try to be like everything, you know, all at the same time. So I think one of the things that we probably have to get really clear on, or I do, is who, who am I wanting to target? Like who's my ideal customer, right? and then work backwards from there. Knowing, once I know that, then what's the message that they're gonna need to hear. And then once I know the message that they need to hear, then we can like create the stories, the videos that would communicate that to them.